Hey everybody, Steph here. So, somebody asked, should I take computer science or computer engineering? Like with so many other things we talk about, whether it be technologies or skill sets or programming languages, check to see what the local job listings are. Check to see what the local opportunities are. And assuming that you, you like doing computer science or computer engineering, then make your decision based on that. You can check listings. You might even call them up and say, hey, listen, I'm a student. What are you guys looking for? Are you looking for more for computer scientists or more for computer engineers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Do a little investigation. One of the things I like to do in my vlogs and in my courses, not only teach you the fundamentals and give you principles to work off of and to build off of, but I'm also trying to teach you how to think in a way that will make you more productive which will give you more opportunities. So one example of that is that when you're looking at whether you want to acquire a new skill set or you want to start a new business, maybe launch a type of product, first thing you do is you check to see what the market is like out there in the market that you want to get into. So if you have a product that's very regional, meaning you're going to sell in your city or your country only, check out what the demand is for that product in your country or in your city, for example, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And there's many ways you can look at that. I'm gonna get into that in my business course, but again, what to take away from this video is you want to look at the uh, region or the market segment that you're in and you make your decisions based on what you find out there. Look at the data. And that's pretty much it, I'm about to head out my uh, my back's a little stiff, and I think I need to do a little bike ride up and down the hill, go downtown, get a bite to eat. That will loosen up the back, loosen up the legs, and I'll feel much better for it. That's what I do. When I have uh, getting a little sore, maybe, that tells me I'm sitting around too much, typing and recording too many videos, and that means i got to get out and do some exercise. I'm going to close off with uh, a couple things I found. I was doing some more spring cleaning as you know i'm downsizing slowly slowly i'm about to do another round of uh, giving away clothes to the goodwill uh, getting rid of furniture i don't need and i found some old promotional material from my very first company I started when i was 18 years old so here is uh, the flyer as you can see it's uh, it's very water oriented you have to understand here's the products I don't know if you can see that or not. There are the products you see. Obviously, you got a little fish on there. I wasn't BSing. I told people I was in the fish fish product business. People are like, what? And I was indeed. So here it is. And we designed these things when graphic design on computer was, uh, this is back in like 92 or something. So it was really hard to do this kind of work because image files were really heavy. Like to manipulate an image like that for print Took some heavy horsepower so it was like click and wait and wait click and wait and wait and wait and here are some of the product labels i kept a couple of samples i designed these back in the day myself so i don't know and here is the uh, the logo the company is no more i sold out my position a long time ago well over 20 years anyway it was a small company it was profitable it was successful I like to tell people I, I learned to, uh, I earned my PhD in business, uh, building that business up. I learned a heck of a lot, and uh, it's nothing like getting out there into the real world to get things done. And uh, so, anyway, that's it. I just found those in a closet somewhere. I thought I'd uh, share that with you guys. All right, I'm off to get my chicken. <laughs>